Hello and welcome to my video series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. In this video, I offer you a psalm to focus on and to enjoy, to bring peace and meditation into your own Christian walk. I offer this video not to explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation and help you find your own calm and peace in God's Word. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. Bless us now with strength and peace of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know and to understand you and feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So the psalm I want us to look at today is Psalm number 42. And let's look at the analogy that begins the psalm. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. Analogies are powerful tools for meditation. Equating a concept with a visual really impacts our minds. Does your soul pant for God? As a deer desperately seeking streams of life-giving water? It should. And what meditation should do for us is to strengthen something that is important inside us. God should be as desirous to us, as essential to our souls, as water is for our bodies. We need to be thirsty for God. Our God is living as streams are living, running water. The deer knows the streams are the most important place to get water. Running water is more pure than stagnant water. David's soul is anxious to meet God. The waters in this human existence have been tears and people have asked him, where is your God? Isn't this a question we have gotten from those without faith? Where is your God? Why are you suffering if there is a God? Shouldn't your God solve everything and make you have this perfect life? This has troubled David's soul. They say sticks and stones can break our bones, but words can never hurt us. But words can hurt if we have doubts. David tries to remember being in the temple, being with the faithful with shouts of joy and praise. But it, there is still that troubled soul. This happens to us as well. We feel that trouble in our soul. So. Look at the verses in the second column. What does David do with this? He remembers the great power of God from his great works, the land of Jordan, the heights of Hermon, the mighty mountain Mizar. Look at this line to meditate upon. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. Now God is analogized more to more powerful waters than just streams. We go from streams to roaring waterfalls and even more powerful, the waves and breakers of a great ocean. The God of these waters is David's life, his rock. So David goes back to the question from his soul. Why has God forgotten him? He suffers and is taunted by his enemies. Where is your God, they ask. Why, soul, he asks his soul, are you so disturbed by this, David asks. David's answer, put your hope in God. He is your savior. This is how we must think when our souls are so troubled. Remember that God's living waters are not merely a stream. They are a roaring, powerful waterfall, crashing. They are ocean waves roaring. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button at the bottom and feel free to subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page if you have not done so already and get notifications for our other live streams of our Sunday morning Bible study and our Sunday morning worship service and a 6 p.m. 
stream on Sunday evenings from our minister, Mark, where he gives an additional lesson and offers the communion. So until next time, keep Psalms and carry on.